Welcome to another video everyone. This is going to be a good one because I'm very excited for the contents of this box. For those that don't know, this is my LS swapped Mustang that I built with the dedication of being a drift car and it runs an Azen AR5 transmission, which is a five speed transmission uh, that was offered both in truck and car version. I have the truck version, which means my shifter location is, uh, is not very great, but that is a problem that the contents of this box are going to solve because the company FabBots that makes the transmission adapter for the AR5 to the LS has made a shifter relocation or a remote mount shifter. So we're gonna unbox this lovely unit, assemble it, put it in the car, and then we can do a before and after to show a comparison between my hacked up setup and what a proper shifter should look and feel like. So. Real quick, I'm gonna post up a picture of what my current setup looks like so that you can see just how uh, hacked up together it is. I mean, it works, but cosmetically, it's not the most beautiful thing to look at and or actually operate when driving the vehicle. So super excited for this. Let's unbox it. Oh, I'm so excited for this, guys. Mmm, that's so good. Let's move you up a little bit closer. You can see exactly what I'm looking at right out of the box. Nice billet aluminum piece. Doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. No assembly needed, it looks like. You just bolt it in. I love it. I love it already. That's gonna look so good in the car. Now the deal with this again is because the truck version of the AR5 puts the shifter location much further uh, than what is ergonomically comfortable for this car. This shifter is designed to move the shifter location back by about six inches. You will notice there is one piece that is missing and that is the actual shifter itself. Because my system is homemade, nothing about what I currently have on the car is going to adapt to this. And so what I've gone ahead and done on preparation is ordered a short throw shifter, like a cheap sh short throw shifter for like a T5, so like a Fox body Mustang. But it'll come with this kind of arm, the little elbow there. It came with like a really weird uh, thread pattern. It was like 12 on 1.75. And I wasn't able to find a shifter and I'm struggling to still today. Uh, so what I did was just went ahead and uh, in typical, typical garage, fashion, I've just made a homemade shift knob. So this is what we're working with. It's like a piece of like pipe rod tube with a union welded to it uh, in the correct thread pitch. So this will attach to that. Well, some bad news bears is my elbow adaptation uh, has horribly failed. You can see that the holes don't line up. That is, in my opinion, a flaw. If uh, somebody from FabBot is watching this, can we get this little elbow piece included and then maybe the little threaded rod so that you can actually attach a shifter? I think if that was included, I would make this thing completely perfect. Now I've got to try solving this issue here. Um, see what I can come up with. All right, I'm back. Here is what I've done off camera to uh, kind of sort out the problem is I've drilled this third hole here so that it will line up with that. And uh, that will essentially be our complete unit. And it'll work great, but I hate to seem like I'm whining and complaining because I really do appreciate the fact they went out of their way to even make this beautiful piece. But it's just like, it was so close to just being spot on perfection. If it were just had this elbow with the threaded rod so you could just put a shift knob on it. It's like 99.9% .9 there. It's just that last 0.01%. You know what I mean? So maybe, you know, somebody at FabBot will see this and maybe we can have a better solution in the future. Uh, but for right now, this is what we got. I think in total, this was about 450, which is kind of crazy to think about because the whole transmission itself was like 300 bucks and I'm paying 1.5 times that just to have a shifter for it. But let's go ahead and get this installed in the car so we can see how great it looks. And then hopefully sometime in the near future, we get the car back together. I just got done replacing some fuel lines on it and uh, take it out for a drive and, and get a feel for this unit. All right, so new shifter is officially in the car and this is my initial reaction to it is that this is actually ergonomically pretty good. Like 
Going between the handbrake and the shifter, no problem whatsoever. We'll go through the gears. The only thing is the springs seem kind of soft. Not only that, but there's like a squeaking noise going on. I don't know, maybe if I tighten these bolts, it'll compress the springs to make it not so squishy and maybe address the noise as well. So that's gonna get old really, really fast. So as far as the noise goes, a bit of WD-40, spray that out of the spring that seems to have addressed that. However, even with tightening these bolts, the springs are still super soft. I guess maybe not super soft, but definitely on the softer side of things. And uh, if you crank them down too much, then you lose the ability to kind of go uh, into the different gears. I guess just this kind of loosey-goosey shifter is what we're going to have to go with. Because like really it's not that big of a deal to where I'm going to go hunt down different springs. We'll just we'll live with it and then kind of maybe focus more on doing something with this elbow here. But overall, I actually do really like the shifter. It looks really cool. I get to throw this hack job away and that will conclude this video guys leave a comment down below what your opinions are on the fabbot ar5 remote shifter if you've made it this far in the video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button all that good stuff and i'll see you on the next one